What is fear? What is fear? Fear is basically an emotion that we feel and it's there to protect us. When we were living in the wild and there would be animals around us, this emotion really helped us by giving us an adrenal rush. So if there's an <laughs> e snake around you or a lion somewhere and you are walking in the forest, you see that and then you have this feeling in your body and then you stop running. And that's why we had fear. But in today's world, all of us, we don't need fear at all. Fear and anxiety overpowers us when we get scared of this emotion. So number one thing is to understand that we all feel this emotion. There's nothing wrong with it. And all the people who created a great life were successful and did amazing things in their life were once scared. The only difference that is there between the scared person and the person who succeeded is the change and the transformation that they made within themselves and you also have same potential to make that transformation actually you're feeling emotion today because your higher self the successful the amazing the half self is calling in for a transformation calling for courage within so in this video i will be sharing with you a lot of ways in which you can get rid and create that transformation of moving from fear courage and love another thing that i want to remind you is why is it that you feel fear why is it that you feel anxious when there are no lions or no chasing it's because your mind your awareness is going in the future or in the past about something which is scary which is fearful so maybe you're scared what will happen if you have no money or what will happen if you fall sick or what will happen if your lover leaves you and all of these thoughts in your head of future and the past are what are made scared. So when you start feeling scared, the first thing that you can do is slow down your breath, take a deep breath and clench your whole body gently. If you do this three times and then start breathing slowly with the thought, I am all right right now. I am all right right now. Focus on your breath, slow it down. This will remind you that you're fine in this moment. There is not scared of. This is a tactic that you can use when you're facing this emotion and reminding yourself that it's just an emotion that comes and goes from your body. The second thing that you need to do is to retrain your body and your mind have might have a lot of memory of this emotion. So what you need to do is you need to retrain your body before you scared every day. So in the morning, you have to have practices of visualization of a great future and sending love to your past. When you train your mind into a visualization of happy memory, it's a very, very powerful tool. Imagine a child who's scared of ghosts and is telling his mother, Mommy, I'm so fucking scared of ghosts. So you need to retrain your visualization every morning and have visualizations that are beautiful yeah and then in the day as soon as your mind starts wandering come back to this visualization it can be about your scenarios that you're facing for example imagining yourself in a great career where you're fulfilling all your desires you're happy you have great teammates or imagining yourself in a farm full of yellow roses and maybe red roses together and you're dancing in that so if you have certain visualizations like this in your mind what happens is every time you're going to certain thoughts that are scary bring that bring that in so you have to exercise your awareness your willpower your concentration so that you can reprogram your mind as well as reprogram your body have a schedule of exercise which makes you happy or maybe something in the morning which makes you joyful so you can find time to just sit and laugh you know I, when I was training myself, I used to do this. I used to always sit and laugh with myself. There's nothing crazy about it. You're just vitalizing your body with a great hormone. You know, tell jokes to yourself and laugh. Learn how to be joyful in your body. Learn how to have fun in your body. And then what happens is that you're creating a memory of happiness. And these hormones are very useful for keeping your nervous system in a good space. All these techniques are very simple, but something that you must follow every day in your life. That is important. Consistency. Like you shower your body, you have to shower your mind with amazing things every day. That's how you grow. You don't have to die every day in fear. You see, why is fear as an emotion there in your life is to 
protect you from dying and make you run away from your predator. But you don't have to die every day in fear. You can just die once and there's nothing to worry about. Every situation that you face in life, irrespective of the situation, you can happy. And suffering is only in the mind. So when you retrain your mind, retrain, 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 <laughs> retrain your mind, what happens is that you just die once and that death is like going from this life of celebration and awakening into a new dimension for real. So you don't have to die every day by this fear, by learning how to be courageous, by imagining to be courageous, by making your image in your visualizations, in your breath, in your actions every day that you are a courageous person. You tell yourself with your affirmations, I'm courageous, I'm full of love, you know, this is who I am. I'm not a fearful person, that's something in the past, I let go of it. It's something that you must be telling yourself every day in the morning. Today, I am a more loving person. Today, I am a more courageous person. And what happens is that you are recreating your image. You're recreating who you are. So this is very, very important to recreate who you want to be by using the power of your thought as well as your visualization and you will see that you will become a new person. Another thing to understand is that the root cause of your fear is something irrational. So you have to go in the depths of your fear. First, you need to calm yourself down by your breath, by meditation, by just relaxing and then sit with a pen and paper and understand, understand, face your fear, understand what is going on, step by step calmness and find the root cause of the fear. Usually it's thought or a bad practice that you're doing. So you bring yourself in alignment by committing self that you're gonna let go of this thought and you will bring in a new thought. For example, if you have a fear of losing your job, you put in a thought that higher forces are with me. I make sure that I am supporting myself and I am always going successful in my life. Stuff like So you bring the root cause of the problem that you're facing. Maybe you are not eating well. Then you bring in a program for yourself, take coaching from somebody and decide to remove the root cause of the problem, whichever way, by inspired thoughts, by an action. And once you have done that, there's nothing to fear because there's no lie and chasing you. So remove the root cause of the problem and then bring in that action, that inspired thought step by step. One more important thing for not being fearful in life is that you have a pure and clear heart. You must not have shitty thoughts and judgmental thoughts and harmful thoughts either for yourself or for anyone and you must align yourself into serving the best of the humanity and serving the best of yourself as you change your thoughts to this direction and wish the well of everyone and forget and forgive everyone in the past yourself as well all the things that you have done this is an exercise you must do sitting with yourself you become free of fearful thought it's only when you feel that you're not a good person you haven't done anything good in life like some mistakes that you might have made we all make mistakes you haven't let go of it that scared that you will be punished for it so this is something that you need to do which is let go of your mistake past forgive yourself and forgive others and create that image that you have now forgive let go and then you only intend the good of other people once you do that you will find yourself free don't be afraid yeah 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 no more da -da 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 -da. your fear is your higher self and your courage and your love calling out to step into that. There are a lot of possibilities that exist for you in your fear. You're just focusing on something that you don't want. So this emotion is just telling you, hey, don't focus on that. You can instead focus on courage and love. And at one time, you can only focus on one thing. So you can say, thank you universe for the present moment. I'm all right right now. And then start focusing on the things that can happen good for you and train your mind every day, meditate on these possibilities every day, first thing in the morning and when you go to bed. These are the two times that are very powerful and can really transform your mind very fast. So think of all the great possibilities that exist for you and it is your responsibility to make sure that your mind is becoming more and more amazing every day, every way. And then you will see that your life transforms in an upward direction, in the direction of the growth every day, in every way. Do share and like this video if it transforms your life. Spread on the message that life is beautiful and then 
you have come on this planet to thrive. I love you and have a beautiful day.